My name is JT Tran, and I'm the founder of the ABCs of Attraction, which is the number one Asian dating coaching company in America, in the world, I'd say. Because I sucked with women. I absolutely was horrible with women. To me, it was beyond just picking up girls. It became a social movement. I, a five foot five, basically unattractive Asian guy can do it, then you can do it. One of my friends recommends me this program, uh, JT Year. This is uh, my first time ever doing this boot camp. The testimonials, the success stories, um, it looked like it was something that was effective and worked for Asian men like myself. Basically, I need a third personal perspective and I never had like any role model to go on about I never had like an older brother or anything I'm the oldest uh, sibling so I never had anyone to teach me like what to do I had a chance of a phone call like talking to someone who's actually working here and he said so if you're doing what you're doing right now for five years will you get improved and my answer was hell no so I just decided to take it I really want them to experience what I experienced, you know, and teach them the ability how to pick up women. We are at the bottom of the food chain when it comes to the dating world. So I want them to really say, forget all that. Regardless of my circumstances, I'm still going to be good at this. When I was developing the ABCs in order to teach a 17-year-old kid, um, I, I realized it cannot simply be about technique and pickup. All right, so I, I, I developed the entire system with the idea of growth, the ability to change your inner game, your inner strength, your mentality, the way you present your outer confidence, your body language, and then like actually how you talk. And so at each particular phase from the approach to the bantering, to the comfort, to the dominance, to the escalation, and to the future, I made a point to always self-educate myself on, on like psychology as well as to back it up with practical application. And that is a key difference between a lot of people in the Asian American activism community because there's a lot of keyboard jockeying. It is no actual real implementation of change in social movement other than what's the latest Twitter hashtag that you can make popular. I always backed it up with real life beyond just anecdotal evidence. Like, if I can do it, if I, a five foot five, basically unattractive Asian guy can do it, then you can do it. So I actually had an incredible honor of teaching one of my students by the name of William Lee out in New York. And he worked on Wall Street and he calculated on average two dates per year, not dating two women, but just two dates, like going coffee twice up until the age of 30. And he got an email from his friend saying, hey man, I just took the boot camp and I had a romantic success on the last night. This is the real deal. And William at the time was in Taiwan and he was ready to throw in the towel. He was like, he was just, I can't find anyone. No one loves me here in America. So I'm just gonna go to Taiwan and get myself an Asian village wife, like a male order bride, right? And he's like, all right, you know what? Last chance, if this doesn't work, I'm just, I'm just gonna give up on America. It was on his first night he actually had romantic success. And, you know, he, he followed everything that we taught him to the letter. And, like, afterwards, like, JT, I want to seat with, like, X amount of girls. And he did. But the thing is, he realized that wasn't really fulfilling for him. So he became a serial monogamous, and he would seriously date, like, a girl for six months before deciding, you know, I don't see her as a wife or she's wifey material until one day he went back to the very first club that I took him to on his boot camp, very first night, and he ended up meeting the future Mrs. Lee. And I had the great honor of being the only dating coach and being the only pickup artist to ever officiate a client's wedding. Over 10 years, uh, we have helped thousands of Asian men, both here in America, overseas in England, Europe, Australia, uh, in Asia itself, Japan, so our demand is worldwide. So we have a lot of different programs. Our flagship service is called the Boot Camp, 
where we teach over a course of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday involving lecture, night game, where we go out in the field to bars and clubs, as well as a day game where we meet like everyday women on the street, the library, the Whole Foods, the mall, the beach, right? So that they have the skill set and the experience of potentially meeting their future wife, future love, anywhere, at any time. So that's our flagship product, and it is the weekend. But we also have long-term training, which is what our former student turned assistant coach, Sebastian, took was long-term training, which we call the uh, 12 Weeks of Fury, which is an intense training through three months. And that's long-term training where we have more specialized classes with fashion, fashion makeover, um, Katie takes them on a date critique where she critiques them on their dating skills so they act like they're on a date and she critiques them later like this is how you were. Um, this advanced inner game with Andrew and we've literally had students that cried. It is like a form of therapy where we're very deeply deconstructing a lot of the limiting beliefs that they have in their mind. Um, we have just like William, I was just talking about, you know, or the married uh, student. He was also coaching with us for a while. And now he coaches our long-term and marriage course. So he actually utilizes the ABCs of traction in long-term relationship as well as in marriage. So for those of our students who are into that, that's that. And then we have other students that are into, like, polyamorous relationships or threesomes. And we have a coach that specializes in that. I am here to give extensive training in whatever areas that they want that will make them happy and successful. Um, and then, you know, we have our Las Vegas Immersion Program, which is a week-long intensive where they basically come out to Vegas and we put them through the ringer. Right? We jam-pack 12 weeks of knowledge into that one week and it's a pretty extensive um, mind-bending experience. And then next we're going to have the Euro Tour where we'll take our students out to Europe uh, where they can essentially gain without race being held against them. They'll finally feel what it feels like to be like just a good looking quote unquote white guy and no one's judging them based off of their race. So we have a lot of programs, but our flagship is the weekend boot camp. Our boot camps are 3000 and we have our other programs are up to $10,000. Tonight I'm really excited because I've learned a lot of things from JT's uh, course and a lot of things I'm more aware now and what to do and move on. Um, the first night, you know, it's just getting our toes um, dip into the water and now we could hopefully swim. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of scary but, you know, exciting at the same time. It's definitely taking me out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm doing a lot of things I've never done before or thought about doing. I had a, like a lot of bad habits, like a lot of things that I memorized and learned in a different way and it was like totally broken down last night and JT said things what you learn is kind of like doesn't work for you because you're in different status, different situation, you're ESL Asian and things what they're teaching was mainly for a mainstream so it doesn't fit on you, you gotta wear what you look good with and that was such a like paradigm changing moment for me. I think the difference in their confidence from the beginning to the end, really getting rid of those limiting beliefs and the approach anxiety and the uh, different hurdles that they've created in their own minds and actually seeing those broken down over such a short period of time uh, and the way they come out of the other side uh, much more confident. Really you, you're just going to have to ask yourself the same question I asked myself. Did I do everything I possibly could to better my sex life or my dating life? If the question is no, I mean, what do you have to lose taking this course? Well, take an ABCs of Attraction Boot Camp. That is my number one advice is simply proof is in the pudding that I've been around for 10 years. I have taught thousands of Asian men celebrity endorsements from Asians who you know have been on TV and politicians that have literally taken my boot camp and have improved their lives and in so much it's sort of like wealth of the nation the idea of the invisible guiding hand that if I can help these individuals even if it's the pursuit of their own happiness by the pursuit of their own happiness and being successful at it they in themselves can affect 
a positive turn to our Asian uh, society. But if I can give practical advice, every Asian guy looking at this is go big or go home. If you are looking like a stereotype, if you're short like me, or you're Asian, or you're just not classically good looking because you're thin, or you're fat, or you're balding, or you're old, go big or go home. The difference between the ABCs of attraction versus anyone else in the industry, I think, is that our mission statement was not formed as some sort of job. It was literally that 17-year-old kid who had been harassed by neo-Nazis. Our mission statement from the beginning has been to help my fellow Asian brothers. And the fun, the women, you know, that's great. But it really is a call to service to help out our fellow Asian brothers. Not only be happy in who they are, but to be this positive social change. Because if we look around, we don't see that for us. So if we don't see that in society, we don't see that in the media in Hollywood, then it's up to us individually. It's up to me, it's up to you, and it's up to every Asian brother out there watching this to be that positive change because no one else is going to do it for us. <music>